Nano Banana has been the talk of the town recently and today in this video we're gonna be testing out Nano Banana. Now for those of you who do not know what Nano Banana is, Nano Banana is the Google's new image editing model. You can actually go ahead and edit images or even generate images with this. But the downside to this is its pricing because it is really effective. It is not available in free. But don't worry, in this video today, I found a way for you to use it for free with some rate limiting. But before I tell you how you can access it for free, let's talk about what Nano Banana is. So Nano Banana can actually go ahead and edit your images and maintain your look as you edit. As you can see right here, it's keeping the same lady in different outfits and different looks. This is really consistent or something like this where it actually merges two different images together and seamlessly produces realistic results or this example where it's actually going to go ahead and add this Persian rug below the sofa or this table this is really incredible I would say so these are some of the examples of Nano Banana but in this video we're going to be actually testing it out and accessing it for free so without further chatter let's dive right into the video and actually start testing out Nano Banana hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. this is Ahosh Ambrez and we're finally getting started with this video to access Nano Banana for free you have to go to aistudio.google.com and you can see Nano Banana has another name which is Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview it is also known as Nano Banana and it is the top rated image generation and editing tool by Google. So let's actually go ahead and start with some of the examples here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pasting in one of the images that I want to edit. This is Luffy's figure from One Piece and I want to generate a different angles of the same image of the same 3D figure. So let's go ahead and ask Nano Banana to do that for me. So the prompt goes really simple. It can read three different angles for this 3D figure in the image. And let's go and hit enter to actually check out the results. And notice one thing is that how many tokens are being used for your each request. Okay, notice how your token count is around 4,000 already because each one of them consumes around 13 hundred tokens and to be quite honest i like the results you can see this is the image that it produced and this looks really cool so this is an angle from the top and this is a little down up front angle okay so that was our first test now for the next test i'm gonna be adding a sunset view in this landscape so this time the prompt goes like add a sunset view in the landscape of a river and that's it let's go and hit enter and you can see the amount of tokens being consumed this time so a total of 5000 tokens we have consumed with two different examples but i think this is quite good three different images produced with 5000 tokens and i think this was worth each token you can see how seamlessly it attached the sunset view in the image that i've provided this is really really amazing this was the image and this is what it generated i'm impressed so this time what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be placing this yacht inside this landscape okay so the prompt goes like place the yacht inside the rear landscape with the view of sunrise in the back so this time i'm not going to just add this image but i'm going to actually add objects in this image like this yard right here so let's go and actually try this out i'm really looking forward to the result and there you go we have the result right here and i think this is really good you can see the sunrise right here you can also see the ripples and the waves that were created by the yard while surfing in the river. The details are really top notch by Nano Banana and I think this is one of the best image model that I've ever tested out. Okay so another example that I was really looking forward to try out with this one is to recreate the classic Titanic scene with Lisa in it. Because Lisa is the talk of the town after the Coachella so I'm just gonna replace Catherine with Lisa here. So the prompt goes like, replace the woman in the first image with the woman wearing pink, which is Lisa right here, and make sure that only the face is swapped. The looks and the overall aesthetics remain the same, because I do not want to lose the titanic vibe right here. So let's go and hit enter, and I'm really looking forward to the results of this one, because I really wanted to try this out, and I think Nano Banana is the model 
that can produce the best results for this one. I tried multiple times with multiple prompts, but it was ineffective. I think I have to change my approach with prompting and this might work. But for now, I think this is a fail, the swapping of the classic Titanic. But for the next example, I'm actually going to use Ronaldo and make him wear a reflective pair of glasses. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and wait for the results. And I'm hoping that Ronaldo will be wearing reflective glasses in the results. So there you go. There are the results. So you can see the reflective glasses here. And something that I want to highlight here is you can see the reflection in the glasses. This seems like a crowd and players out there. And this is mind-blowing about nano banana because it actually notices what's in the background there's some crowd in the background and it deducts from that that there might be crowd in the front as well so it reflects that in the glasses pretty amazing i would say when it comes to details what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to actually turn these phones around using nano banana so i'm just going to go ahead and say Hey Nano Banana, just show me the other side of the phones. So there you go, we have the results. So you can see even the hands and the placement of the phones are identical, just like the original image right here. And notice how it can differ between an iPhone screen and a Samsung screen. This pretty much looks like an Android with the camera right here. There might be slight hiccups in it, but I think this is quite great. Now for the last test, I wanted to try out this empty room and actually try to add furniture, rug and wall paintings in this room. So I'm just going to go ahead and redo this room now. So the prompt goes like, add a beautiful rug on the floor, add a grey sofa and some paintings on the wall and also a clock on the right wall. So I'm looking forward to the results of this one because this is something I saw in the blog by Google and I wanted to try this out ever since. So this might be your last test but I I really wanted to try this out with Nano Banana. So let's wait for the results and then we can talk about how cool it looks. So there you go. We have the same exact room but with a rug, grey sofa, and the paintings and the wall. Pretty great with the details and placement of the objects that I've asked about. I like the cushions though. Okay, so this was my last test and so far I think Nano Banana is one of the best AI image model out there and I would highly encourage you guys to actually go ahead and try this out yourself as I've told you how to access it for free. With that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how powerful Nano Banana is and if you found this video insightful, hit the like button, share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below and ring the notification bell to never miss out on daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.